Okay, so more Danaher Chimera stuff, Jimmy's in the bottom. Just go on your back, bro. So we looked at this last time. Um, say I have Johnny pinned inside control. Maybe he wins the underhook. And now as he shrimps and stretches out, he gets up into the single leg position. The two hands are clasping me here. Perfect. So last time we looked at how if his head was high, I'd use my hand to push down. My right arm is entering underneath his right armpit and the back of the hand against his forearm. Again, I don't want to stay on two knees because now you can switch to the double leg. So one leg comes up. Obviously, Johnny wants to start circling towards my back. I can plant my left hand and continually track him. The goal is I make the Khmer trap. And now from this position, as I break his body lock or a single leg of my leg by putting my right hip on the mat and kicking back. And now from there, I take him back into T Khmer position and we can start playing the whole game from there. But a reaction Johnny can do from that position is from that single leg. Especially when I'm here, he can hit me with his shoulder and take his head out. His reaction is to move towards my back and put me in a body lock. Now I'm at risk to the back attack. So again, as long as my hand is over the top of his forearm, he tries to release his right arm now. I'm making that grip. I just connect my right elbow to my hip, put my left foot up, and I look between my legs. As I look between my legs, I'm rolling over my right shoulder. Because Johnny's connected to me, I'm forcing him to roll over his right shoulder. So the movement is this. My hips are higher than his. As I come up on top, I just scissor my legs. And now I'm moving from his right side to his left side. If he does nothing, we're back into attacking the side control Kinera from the other side. But what's going to happen is he keeps the body lock and comes up on top. Nice. Just move this way, bro. So, we're here. I still have the Chimera trap, and as Johnny come up on top, I elevate my right knee pointing straight up, so we've got a Sumigashi hook, a butterfly guard hook, and now as he tries to come up, I just kick him straight up and roll him over, not that way, bro, <laughs> his shoulder, we end up in T, sorry, T Chimera position. And we're here. That's where he goes. Let's take a look at that again. As long as I keep that locked, he could also be trying to jump to this side or this side. Um, we'll go from the single leg again, bro. Or just from your knees, perfect. So we're here. If his head's high, I'm pushing down. Again, back of the hands coming in. But now he does his peek out and frees his head. Now his head's at the back door. So again, as long as I have that overhook, and I make sure that he can't free that arm. The leg comes up, so he can't um, double leg me. And now, as I roll over my right shoulder, Johnny has to roll over his shoulder. I look between my legs, and we end up in top position. As long as I get my hips higher than his, and then I scissor my left leg over the top of my right leg, which carries me over. But now he's still keeping tight with the body lock, and he's trying to come up on top. And as he does, I leave in my sumigashi hook. We end up in this position here. Just shuffle back out my bro. Leave that perfect. So we're here and I still have the Khmer trap on. Okay. So now right knee's pointing straight up. I'm just gonna elevate my right leg, sweeping Johnny over his head. And now from that position. Either I end up on top or I end up on T Khmer position. I've already addressed that. Johnny tries to sit up. I fill that space with my bottom knee. The left leg comes over and now I can start to get into all the different options that we looked at. One more time on that, bro. Just here a bit. So don't worry too much what happens after the sweep. It just depends really where they go to. So from our position, arm comes in. I'm about to hit last week's move. Johnny does a peek out and now he moves towards my back. Detail is I need my hand in front or just as long as I've got a grip. So in other words, when I put my foot up and clamp my right elbow, if Johnny tries to retract his right arm, pull it out bro, he's connected to me. So 
Just look between your legs and roll over your shoulder, scissoring your legs to come up on top. Johnny decides to come up as well, and we end up in this position. Just shuffle back this way, real perfect. So I keep the chimera trap, okay, that's what I'm after. Right knee's pointing up. If it's pointing to the side, you're not going to get the butterfly guard sweep. And now from there, I'm just kicking him over my head. Whether I come up on top, which is one option, or from here, as I kick him over, Johnny decides to roll over his shoulder, and I end up in the Khmer position again. So again, as he tries to sit up, bottom knee comes in, top leg comes over, and then I start to get the arm above his head, start working all the stuff that we covered in the earlier weeks. So that's just a pathway if they do the peek out and their head comes out. Let's throw that case. 